Well, good morning, good morning. I hope you guys are all having a fine Sunday. I certainly am. It got pretty cold overnight, but hey, that's to be expected from Canada, right? Just filling out the logbook here, and then I'll be on my way to Edmonton. I just stopped up here in uh, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Had me breakfast done. And it looks like my battery is going to die here pretty soon. So I guess I'm going to have to cut this short. Alrighty, so I turned around my camera. Plugged it in. Because that's the only way I can really plug it in. I don't have a long enough cable on there to plug it in and have it facing me. But... Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, I just finished having breakfast up here. And, uh, yeah, in Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Now I'm going to, uh, go put the hammer down towards Edmonton. I got another 864 kilometers to go till I get there. And it was bloody cold here overnight. It got down to like uh, minus 25 Celsius overnight and the windshield was 34 Celsius. That is super cold. And uh, we had a lot of uh, snow and slush and ice and all that stuff up there in Ontario yesterday. And uh, I tried to clean up as much as I possibly could on the truck and stuff like that. I even went as far as dropping my trailer just to make sure that my fulfill and all that wouldn't freeze up. And I made sure that I wouldn't set my trailer brakes this time. So that they wouldn't be freezing up again like they did there a couple of weeks ago. And I wouldn't be stuck there again, you know. And uh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to uh, clean the... Uh, the intake pipe for my bunk heater and uh, when I turned on the bunk heater there in the evening it was working fine and all of a sudden at four o'clock in the morning I'm waking up and my bunk heater isn't working well I was thinking of that right away so I got out of the truck and uh, sure enough that intake pipe was completely blocked with ice so I cleaned that out and uh, tried to get the uh, bunk heater working again, but it just would not fire up properly again. That was just smoking and smoking, and once it smokes, uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't burn inside the uh, the heater. So uh, I had to uh, start up my truck and uh, warm the truck up like that from the inside. <laughs> But, oh, uh, well, in the morning I uh, tried again, turned on the uh, bunk heater again. And it worked fine, so, and I even uh, tried it here now in Yorkton, and it works fine. So, uh, I guess it just got too much fuel inside the, uh, inside the heater, the burner chamber or whatever. And uh, I guess it couldn't, couldn't start up or whatever, so I guess I had to let it sit for a while till all that fuel... Uh, seeped away out of the uh, burner chamber I guess but now it's working fine hopefully I'll be okay next night because I did clean that pipe out but uh, but yeah so it's brutally cold but uh, it's all right I guess it's winter if everything goes according to plan I should be uh, in Edmonton tonight I'll be dropping my trailer at, uh, at the place up there and then uh, I'll just go over to the truck stop. They already sent me a reload offer there yesterday or no not yesterday it was the day before already and uh, I had to say no to that uh, load offer and I didn't really want to but I heard there was supposed to be all kinds of snowstorms up here and stuff like that so uh, I decided to uh, refuse that load or say no to that load at least because uh, 
I am supposed to, well I was supposed to pick that load up at ten, uh, 6 in the morning and then go over from Edmonton to Saskatoon and deliver two different places up there and that was really tightly scheduled and the thing is I will be in Edmonton really late tonight probably by uh, I don't know 9, 9.30 maybe even 10 o'clock tonight and uh, in 500 that's meters, the, if that's the case that's Canada Highway, Highway 16 I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have my uh, my 10 hours off yet, you know. So I know in Canada Turn you can on, just Canada take your highway, uh, highway 8 hours off, but I really don't like doing that, especially after three big days of driving like I just did. Uh, I like to have my 10 hours off, you know. I'm I'm tired after having such a long day. I I just can't uh, do that eight hour thing and then get up and drive again. So. I like to at least have my 10 hours off, you know, but uh, yeah, that's uh, unfortunately, but uh, I uh, wasn't quite sure if I was even going to make it to Edmonton tonight because of all the uh, forecast for the well. snow for and all that that they were supposed to get up here in Edmonton and also in Ontario. There's a lot of snow forecast up there in Ontario too, so... I figured I couldn't really make that promise three days in advance and having to drive big days every day, like lots of miles every day and uh, could, uh, you know, commit to the, to the load, you know, I, I just couldn't do it, I, I couldn't uh, promise them that I would be able to uh, uh, get to Edmonton tonight uh, because of all the snow forecasts and stuff like that they were supposed to have and they got lots of snow as you can probably see the roads are pretty icy especially here in town uh, and uh, but right now I got nice sunshine and it looks like I'm gonna make it to Edmonton tonight but now the uh, Western dispatch is not in today and not even in yesterday so uh, I can't really talk to him right now because he's not there, right? They have the central dispatch there, but not the western or eastern dispatch. I think the eastern dispatch is at least there on a Saturday, but uh, the western dispatch, I don't even think he's there on the, on, the, on the Saturday, so... But that's okay. At least I'll be able to get a good night's sleep down tonight. And then... Uh, I'm sure they're gonna have something else going on tomorrow, so... We'll just take whatever they got, I guess, tomorrow, and uh, I'm just going to tell them I want to go back home, and that's all I will do. But, yeah, that's enough for now, I guess. We'll see what the rest of the day brings us, and then uh, I guess we'll be uh, back a little bit later. Alrighty, I have made it to Edmonton. It's been a super long day for me, but uh, hey, I made it up here and I uh, just finished dropping my trailer and uh, just went over to the Flying J up here and had me a bite to eat and uh, now I'm gonna go to the to bed and uh, go tomorrow early morning and pick up my load uh, dispatch asked me again this afternoon if I were going to be able to take that load that they offered me a couple of days ago already and uh, I said yeah I would I managed to get here early enough so I could do that load pick up that load tomorrow morning so uh, I decided you know what may as well take it it's uh, it's uh, towards the way home so uh, why not right but uh, yeah so uh, I guess uh, I'll go to bed and uh, get some sleep before I go get before I have to go get my load so uh, with that, we'll see you guys again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thanks for watching.